Hey, what is up? It's Freed's first time. I am Freed. If you're new to the channel, I just talk about certain whiskeys, tell you what I smell, tell you what I taste, tell you if I like it or not, and then at the end, geez, all right, see you later. At the end, I'll, uh, I'll add a little music pairing, because I think music and whiskey and best friends and all that stuff just go really well together. So today we're gonna continue our rundown of the Kavalon line, well, at least what I have, and today is the Concertmaster Port Barrel finished. 40%, non-colored, filtered, but it is what it is. But yeah, Kavalon out of Taiwan, pretty good stuff. This one was finished, it just, uh, it was matured in its, the normal American oak and it was finished in tawny ruby and vintage port barriques. And a barrique is just a small barrel, 59 gallons, um, that once was used to mature uh, port wine. So that's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, and um, I think stateside, I live in China, uh, I think stateside this is about, <clears throat> excuse me, $70, which is kind of high, I think, considering this is a non-age statement whiskey. And um, so, yeah, I don't know how I feel about that price point, but, you know, what are you going to do? It is what it is. So, let's uh, get into it and check it out on the quiff. I initially, when I was doing my first nosing, I initially wrote down sunshine. <laughs> that was the first thing that popped into my head when I put my nose in there. It was like, this is what sunshine would smell like if you could smell sunshine. But um, as far as actual tasting notes, I'm getting some like maraschino cherry, those gummy peach rings, some chocolate, some circus peanuts. So it's, it's got a, so basically a little bit of a sweet vein going through it, but I'm not getting a whole lot of, of port. There's a little bit of like a musky grape type of influence. Man, I got cat hair all over my face. Yeah. Like, a, like a musty grapey influence, but it's not too, uh, not too in there, not too heavily in there. I don't know. It's nice. It's good nose. It's pretty pleasant. I enjoy it. It's nice and light and delicate. Nothing too, like, just rip your nose off. All right, cool, taste it, come back. Mm. This is the last of it too, so I better get it right. Hmm, that's nice, nice and delicate, it's light. It's nothing too complicated. Wow, very short. It's all but gone at this point. I can still taste it, my, barely, but it's it's pretty, yes, that's a short finish, that's the same. That's a shame. But uh, on the palate, I'm getting nice, light, delicate. I'm getting that Kavalon citrus note, specifically kind of an orange. Um, it's a little bit bitter on the end, like a bitter, like a black tea, almost a bitter chocolate on the end. Um, it's okay, I'm not still, on the on the palate, I'm not getting a lot of that, uh, all that port influence. This is a very divisive whiskey too, I mean, I've, I've been seeing people saying they love it, absolutely love it, and I've seen people just shitting all over it. So it's kind of uh, very polar, polar reviews. For me, um, I, I, it's got its place, without a doubt. I'm not saying I don't like it, cause I'm not, but I'm not saying I love it either. Is it my favorite Kabbalah? No, absolutely not. It's actually my least favorite at this point. Which doesn't mean it's bad, I'm not saying it's bad, I'm just saying my least favorite out of the lot. Mm. I just wish it was more. Actually, I remember seeing some of the bottles stateside that they have it going at 43 ABV. That would be a pleasant change. I mean, it might be a negligible change, but I think it wouldn't it wouldn't hurt it, that's for sure. I wish I could get it for 43, but it is what it is. So all in all, yeah, it's okay. 70 bucks? Absolutely not. That is crazy. I would pay 45, 50 bucks for that. And I even let this sit and open up a little bit. I didn't add any water because it was 40%. I didn't want to drop it below that. Um, so, overpriced. Good juice, don't get me wrong, but overpriced. Uh, so, on to my music pairing with this. Um, <laughs> I actually had one picked out and I was happy with it. It was Yellow Brick Road by um, Elton John. So, try that, sit down with this, play out Yellow Brick Road. It's good, it's good, they, they fit well together. But, as I was setting up, I had my headphones in, and a song came on, where first of all, I just kind of started moving my shoulders, 
And then I just started moving everything and I couldn't stop. And I was drinking the whiskey and having a good dance all by myself. And it was just a lot of fun. And the song is Can't Trust It by Public Enemy. So that's the one I'm gonna go with. Can't Trust It, Public Enemy. I'll put a link down there in the description so you can hear it for yourself. Um, but yeah, 70 bucks for this, the Concert Master Port uh, finish. Not worth it. Uh, it's good, it is good, don't get me wrong, it is good. I've had worse, I've had better, but at that price, I would expect something a lot more. Okay, cool, so next time we'll be going through something else from Kavalon, maybe the King Car or maybe the Podium. I think I'm gonna save the rest of the Solus series for the end. But anyway, yeah, thanks for watching. Um, if you liked this and you would like to see more of it, please consider subscribing. If not, no hard feelings do. And cool, yeah, we'll see you next time.